I came in today from Columbus, Ohio. Yes. Hi, Hi. And me from San Francisco yesterday. Hey, how are you? <laughs> other than really tired. Hugs, six oh. weeks in the making. We are surrounding each other by the most tender, toughest, strongest bonds of love that I have ever felt. And I'm only just meeting these people in person. There's a lot of love in this room, but these women are about action. The stakes are so high. So, so many kids we have to protect. Mm. And that's, I wake up in the morning and that's pretty much the first mm. thought in my head is, um, we have to do this, somebody has to do this. Kay Coughlin and Karen Fleshman are two of the estimated hundreds of women who will arrive at DIA from across the country over the weekend to answer here for the kids call. We are confident in getting tens of thousands. While organizers are tight-lipped on specific numbers, they believe they'll meet their goal of 25,000 moms stretched across the Capitol lawn on June 5th, demanding Governor Polis ban guns in the state. And I don't know what kind of uh, disruption that will cause, but, you know, we do we do a lot of things for our kids, so we're going to do this, like, disruption or no disruption, like, that's what's going to happen. The sit-in is expected to grow throughout the morning, but remain quiet. No podium, no speakers, just still moments of shared mourning and reflection until Polis signs their executive order. What does this look like? Should Governor Polis just say, shoo, you know, thank you for your efforts, but this isn't happening. What I is don't that think like? that's possible, actually, because there, the amount of people power behind this, the, the sheer number of people who are coming, I think it would overwhelm their ability to arrest us and, 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 um, get us out of there. Unlikely warriors planted for 15 hours on Monday, and many say if Polis says no, they'll be back the day after, and the day after that. We're at war in the United States against the Second Amendment. And on June 5th, Denver's capital will be their battlefield. This is going to be one for the history books. People will talk about this for, they will, they will write about it. So like, you are blessed to have this in your city and to see this unfold in, in front of you. Please join us, like, be there with us. It's going to take all of us. That was Alex Lewis reporting. We've reached out to the governor's office, and while the governor says he supports the right to protest peacefully, he does not believe this action would be constitutional. We will have a crew there to capture whatever might unfold on Monday.